You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. I have a great show for you today. And if you would please hit the subscribe button below for our CNA TV. I'd much appreciate it. My opening thought. If you want your children to turn out well, spend twice as much time with them and half as much money on them. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. Trips down memory lane, times remembered. How often I think back over time. Time that has passed into the river of no return. I move slower now. The oil of my youth is drying up. I know all the old tales. The faces long gone that I miss. Loved ones that lived, dreamed of justice and knew injustice, that saw unworthy men rewarded and good men ignored. These Ozark back roads are a trip back in time. Since I can remember, I was out in the field. Oh, the memories and the stories that I've gained. It's a slower, sweeter life, and I adore it. Friends, I did not grow up gentle or much enlightened. It took me a while to get it, but it came to me. I don't need a statue to know love. I can feel it in my heart. I don't talk much about politics or news. My poems and quotes are in their own way a refuge. I recognize evil when I see it. I believe I hear the best of who we are in these poems and quotes. The teachers, first graders, were discussing a picture of a family. One little boy in the picture had different color hair than the other family members. One child suggested that he was adopted. And a little girl named Jocelyn said, I know all about adoptions because I'm adopted. What does it mean to be adopted? Asked another child. It means, said Jocelyn, that you grew up in your mother's heart instead of her tummy. There are only two kinds of travel. First class and with children. If I had influence with the carekeeper who is supposed to preside over all children, I should ask that their gift to each child in the world be a sense of wonder so indestructible that it would last throughout life as an unfailing antidote against boredom and disenchantments of later years. The sterile preoccupation with things that are artificial, the alienation from our sources of strength. My final thought. The only thing of value we can give kids is what we are, not what we have. 
Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the phone.